As Freeman's Village began to decline, and especially after it was closed in 1900, residents of the village had to find new places to live. One such area was the nearby community known as East Arlington. Within East Arlington, two acres of land were purchased by the Mount Olive Baptist Church. This subdivision soon became known as Queen City, located in the northern corner of East Arlington. The homes of the first wave of residencies were built by African-American owners. Residents of Queen City created a close-knit community. Children went to school locally at the Jefferson School on Columbia Pike. The Odd Fellows had annual entertainment Christmas and Fourth of July. They supported the community members in distress and even made loans. St. John Baptist Church would hold services there. Queen City had its own fire department and businesses. Queen City was a strong community built on proximity, hard work, social ties, and the realities of Jim Crow. The 1940 census records show 903 people living in 218 residences in the whole of East Arlington. The United States entry into World War II, the War Department needed to expand. A new site was selected across the river in Arlington, the building now known as the Pentagon. Space would be needed for parking and roads servicing the complex. The East Arlington neighborhood and Queen City within it seemed to be the way. Residents of Queen City were given four to six weeks to leave their homes in an already tight housing market. Eleanor Roosevelt and the House Military Affairs Committee set up temporary trailer park housing in nearby Green Valley and Johnson Hill, but not before many families lost their possessions because they had no place for safekeeping. Not all East Arlington residents moved into trailers. Some moved away, a few had money to build a new house in Arlington, and some lived with relatives. The biggest casualty was the community as a whole. 